Time running out here on the play clock. First down, Prescott. And incomplete to open things up. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott. And now it's second down. Used to have a coach who tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. In a 3-4 defense there and against the run, a lot of responsibility can fall on that nose tackle. A ton of responsibility, no pun intended, because they got to deal with not just the center, both guards, and a lot of times they have to eat up double teams in order to let the rest of the guys get to the football. But how about that play? He not only did he eat up the double team, he ate up the ball carrier as well. I was going to say, talking about puns, you said eat up the double team. Prescott to throw it. He locates Walker, complete. And that one results in 35 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And now a first down following that long game. pistol. Here's Elliott. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that is going to set up a third and one. first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Down carry by Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And I think the offense got it back. They did. Inside the 10 yard line, they avoid disaster. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. So the offense has it, six-yard line, first and goal. Now Prescott. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. 
Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Looking to throw. Prescott under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Avery Williamson. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. A bullet throw, but incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not got too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Sean McCoy. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now it's Taylor. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Fresh set of downs here. Come on, let's go! Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jalen Smith coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. It's McCoy. It'll be 
a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll make it third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try to pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. send the punter out as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Now, they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Seven yards to go on second down. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A second down throw for Prescott. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there, a 22. midfield to the 45. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. On third down, Elliott. First down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. of six. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Prescott now on second down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. the penalty it's Elliott and heavy contact he is knocked down hard it's a loss of a yard there and now second down every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like DBs and let's face it they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them goes for 16 yards it sets him up first and goal That's about all. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play, but it didn't gain him any yardage. Push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and goal. 
Here's Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This offense bent the defense in their long drive downfield, but once they got within sight of the goal line, the defense went to don't break mode, and it stiffened. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Again, it's McCoy. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. He's up to the 20-yard line. Taylor to his big tight end play for the Buffalo first. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to Buffalo after this. Second down following the run. From the gun, it's Taylor. And his throw here is incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. Third down here. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Bills on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. To throw is Taylor. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Taylor to Watkins there. The Bills convert on third. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here we go. They go back to the ground with McCoy. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here we go! On 
second down. Here's Taylor. Over to the right side. Caught by Moncrief. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Bills on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Come on, let's go. Hey. Taylor with a give to McCoy. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it. But listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game. Plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I'll go ahead and punt the football myself. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. looks to throw on first. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And it's second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando, where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out come the...